it's time to celebrate a Puerto Rican superhero and cultural phenomenon who has a familiar name. Yes, meet Marisol, and with an I, not a Y. And not herself in the and third person. And not me, but the independent comic book superhero, La Borinquena, which also happens to be the name of the Puerto Rican national anthem. We won't get into the particulars of that, but we know what's happening. She doesn't fight crime so much as she fights injustice, tackling issues like climate change and voting rights and everything in between. Wow. All right, our next guest created La Borinquena, writer, graphic novel producer, friend of the show, Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Mucho guys. gusto. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Thank you so for much. joining Thank us. You're so no much. stranger to us. Um, I thought it was very funny and very appropriate because when I went to say hello to you, you said, here I am in... The Daily Planet. This historical building of I mean, ours. If yep. you're a comic book nerd like me, <laughs> you'd be remiss not to acknowledge that this is where the first Superman movie starring Christopher Thank Reeves you. was shot. Thank you. This was The Daily Planet. It was The Daily Planet. Yeah. It was The Daily Planet. It still is. It is. It still is. It still is. We'll take it. We'll take it. As far as, we'll he, as, far as I'll allow it. So, uh, all your friends are here. You've yeah, got, you've got well, Pepe and Bomayo. You know, there's only about 800,000 Puerto Ricans in New York City. I mean, we're all cousins <laughs> at this point, right? So why not? <laughs> we all know. Each I told you, they're all going to know each other. They're all going to know each you other. You have and been saying each other. this, and we were like, okay, and yeah. then now they've all been saying it. I mean, I did. So I, I, believe you. I, I worked some years ago with Lin Manuel Miranda. Did some mm -hmm. graphics for his uh, project Hamilton, and also uh, almost like praying. And when he tweeted it out, he kind of gave me a shout out as an artist, and then he added. No, we're not related, but you know what? It's Puerto <laughs> Rico, so you never, know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, but but let's talk about you and La Borinquena. Did yeah. I say it right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, we understand that the origins are tied to the parade. Yeah, so I actually made my debut with this character at a press conference the month before the parade announcing this event, and yeah. that was kind of like the shot heard around the world yeah. because immediately the character and the project went viral. Soon after uh, that press conference, I was invited to uh, the mayor's mansion for a oh, celebration. Not uh, I went to Washington, D.C. and gave a talk at the Smithsonian National Museum of American History to a, a room full of uh, graduate students studying curatorial arts and went on a tour. And then that year year's end, I released the first issue. And that was all before a book came out. Yeah. The character made her debut when a young woman who just graduated from law school dressed up as her at the Puerto Rican yeah. Day Parade. So this is the seventh anniversary of the character's debut. And, you know, we've been working ever since, publishing various graphic novels, doing a lot of philanthropic work in Puerto Rico, engaging in a lot of public service announcements and campaigns mm -hmm. for voting rights. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to say that, you know, we were a little granito de arena, a little grain of sand that added to the largest voter turnout in the last general election of Latinos mm -hmm. in the history of the United States. And we are here today yeah. to kind of like, you know, usher in the Puerto Rican Pride and this pregame that you guys are hosting. It's for. a pregame. We really you know, I mean, the only thing, thing that I can host. It's a pregame. The only thing missing is a lechon. You know, I like know, literally, like roasting a pig too here. Bad. We don't have oh. a lechon right oh. here. Oh. We, we, oh, no, we I don't know. I think the union them. would be too happy unless they got a piece right, of like, chicharron. Exactly. You know? Oh, I, I, no, that I know. I know a chicharron. Edgardo <laughs> and I go way back, and I wonder if you, because we, what's fascinating to me about the culture, and it's not unique to our culture. I think it's 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 part of the immigrant experience, it's part of the New York experience that you find like-minded people and you want to yeah. advance that narrative. Talk to us about why you think when you came out with La Borinquena, that it resonated so much with I folks. I think it resonated for quite a few reasons. We were also, and we're still in this kind of like superhero renaissance where mm. everyone mm -hmm. is wearing apparel, watching films, playing video games, streaming content mm -hmm. related to superheroes. But there is a significant underrepresentation of what it really means to be a U.S. citizen, an mm -hmm. American here in the United States. Most of these superheroes for close to a century are white men. Yeah. And, in, and then we in, got Wonder Woman real quick. Right. <laughs> and for, for those that don't know, when Wonder Woman was first introduced in comics, she was actually the secretary of the Justice League. So oh. there was no equity even from the beginning. Excuse me. So in this space of comic book storytelling, I bring this character in, and immediately she's embraced as this intersectional icon because she's representing people of color in a way that had never been mm -hmm. represented before. Women are finally being represented in a positive light, not in an over-sexualized or sensationalized view of vi representation. And then we incorporate education, heritage, mm -hmm. and philanthropy into right. the project. So it had so many different ways of people finding themselves. And the fact that she's an Afro-Latina character makes the appeal even broader. Yep 
one of our most um, successful events that we participate in is the Schomburg Library's Black Comic Book Festival. Mm -hmm. The black community sees her as a superhero because she's part of our community. Right. And, and as Puerto Ricans, we're part of that diaspora as well. Yeah. Oh. Now, as if this isn't doing I'm enough charitable very, work. Very busy man. In and of itself, can you talk to us about the ties that La Borinquena mm -hmm. has to charity? So, over the course of the seven years that we've been publishing our graphic novels independently, we've actually been raising money. So, we've raised close to $200,000 already from the sales of our books. Oh and we've been, wow. we've been publishing our projects independently all these years. We're not the... Yeah, yeah. this grassroots. That's important it's to know. some big right. very publishing important house. To know. Yeah. Right. And we've collaborated <clears throat> with DC Comics to produce a graphic novel. We've collaborated with uh, Caribe Hilton, with Chocolate Cortez. We've collaborated with, with the Natural Resources Defense Council, and Rosario Dawson herself appeared in one oh, of our oh books as herself. Yeah. Okay. And through this fundraising, um, led by my partner and wife, Kyung Jan Miranda, we've awarded micro grants to nonprofits throughout Puerto Rico. And this wow. is kind of our way to invest in transformative philanthropy because it's a form of activism that we embrace that really says, yes, we have to speak out against injustices. Yes, we have to be active to demand equity, but we should also give back. Amen. And I'm very old school, so I grew up watching Channel 13, and they always had these campaigns that are like, donate now, get a yeah. tote bag, get a mug. So I'm I like... have my tote bag here. I was going to say, it sounds like someone... <laughs> right. No, and I'm like, so I'm like, buy a graphic novel. Get actually, a tote bag. Get a, or not. Or right. not. <laughs> and the idea is, like, you're physically holding a product that is speaking about heroism, and That's you're right. contributing to that heroism and supporting true heroes as Edgardo. well. I'm so proud of you. Thank I you. truly am. Thank you so much for doing all the work. Oh, Marisol, you know you rock. So. Well, I want to see you in his yeah. next. Uh, in his next graphic and well, her name chapter. is Marisol. Maybe she meets. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here. And you know, we have a project right now on our website. If everybody goes to our website, that's right. We just launched our crowdfunding campaign. We're publishing our first hardcover edition. And if this campaign reaches its goal, we'll be donating more towards our charity work and donating library bo books to libraries in, uh, throughout Puerto Rico as okay. well. Okay, so, that's what so it's all about. This is a chance about. to really support. Thank you so much. It's always great to see you.